What's going on guys, ChaseChaseWins.com Sunday. It is the 27th of June, out for a little walk. Just got the plays finished up a little while ago. Got them posted for the clients. Wanted to go over a couple of things with you. Yesterday, it was a rare split day in Major League Baseball. It wasn't a losing day other than you count losing a little bit of juice, which we do. So technically, you can consider that a losing day. We split in the plays though, and guys, that is rare. It's rare. It happens, like we say in anything, it's not perfect. There are going to be days that you lose. There's going to be days that is a split where you lose juice. It's inevitable. It's unavoidable. But the thing is, what's funny is you have the clients that will go on a 10, 12, 13, 14, 20 day winning run where they just completely forget what losing is like. They lose one day and then they want to comment on Twitter. Oh, you did this. Oh, you did this. Oh, you suck here. You suck there. You're in the wrong game if you can't handle a losing day. You want to take it seriously? You've got to know that a losing day every once in a while is inevitable. And I'm not going to apologize because one day out of 20 is a bad day. We're still over 70% for the year in Major League Baseball. Something that any and other wannabe cappers out there can't do for a week we do it for a season we do it season after season we were 85 percent for the last two weeks winning day after winning day after winning day i told you the record it was like 55 and 13 over the course of two weeks we're hitting over 80 percent in everything we were hitting like 11 straight or 13 straight top plays a couple of games of the week a game of the month Guys, we are absolutely destroying it on every level. But a bad day is going to happen every once in a while. So anyway, out of enjoying the nice day. Get a little walk in. Clear your head after you get all the plays done. Before it's time to sit down, watch the games, take notes. So first off, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Let us know you appreciate this content every day. And if you enjoy getting free plays every day, winning plays, a detailed breakdown as to why we like the play and what's going to happen in the play, subscribe. Let us know you appreciate it and make sure you come back, you hit the notification bell so you get every single play that we do release for absolutely free. Now, real quick, a huge congratulations to Jerry and everyone at the West Coast office for cashing in another game of the week blowout. I told you on yesterday's video that game was probably, I don't know, a third of the way done when i got done recording that video and i was like this game is going to be a blowout and of course what do you expect from the soccer goat jerry destroys soccer on every level and when he has a game of the week or month or year you know it's serious some people are still on the fence because they don't know a lot about soccer guys that's why we are here if you knew everything about a sport and you were an expert and you didn't need an expert you wouldn't be here. We wouldn't exist. That's why you need someone like Jerry, like myself, in any and all sports that you don't, you know, understand. Or that, you know what, you think you're an expert in, but the numbers, they just don't prove that. Because you can't stay profitable. Or you can't go profitable long term. That's why we're here. You don't have to understand it. Let us do the work. You reap the benefits of the work. So congrats to another absolute blowout of a game of the week. It was four to nothing. It was never in doubt. It was never in question. So that's number one. Number two, on our shorter term packages, which is what people usually start out with before they go long term, three day, seven day, 30 day. We have been running on a lot of those 50% off. Those specials end tonight at midnight. So, for instance, seven-day pass, it's usually $199. We've been selling it for $99. A three-day pass, it's usually $99. We've been selling it for $49.99. All of that goes back to normal at midnight Eastern time tonight. So, you want the discount? Get on before then. Now, you might be saying, well, I'm already on a three-day pass or I'm on a seven-day pass. I just bought it the other day. It's okay. If you want to still reap the benefits of those discounts, you can go ahead and purchase and it will just go into your queue and it will start the second that your other expires 
That way you can just keep your package going. Now, on the seven day pass, we've been offering an eighth day for absolutely free. That is still going until midnight as well. On the 30 day passes, the all sports and the all access, that we've been giving you seven additional days absolutely free even with the discounted price that's still going on as well until midnight once midnight comes all the extra days the the discounts all of that goes away everything goes back to a hundred percent normal so make sure that if you are wanting to utilize a discount or you are wanting to get free days Make sure you take advantage of that beforehand. You want today's NASCAR pass? Oh, congratulations to the NASCAR players yesterday. Another top play and pick of the week cashed in. It was the first race out of the last nine that he did not cash in a race winner, but he did have Kyle Busch coming in second. Kyle Busch was at plus 1,000 odds. And, you know, it's one of those things where Alex Bowman, right place, right time. But there is a race today. You are going to want to get on the race. It's, or excuse me, $20. Gets you all the head-to-head -head picks, top plays, race winner picks, everything. And it's going to be huge. You want to make 10, 15, 20 units on a race on 20 bucks today? Get on it. Double top plays going in Major League Baseball today. Jerry's got three plays going in soccer. There are six Major League Baseball plays in total. Two of them. Yes, two major league baseball top plays both go today it's a double header top play day in major league baseball that's what people absolutely go nuts for you can get both of the top plays for 25 dollars. now if you get on a three day seven day 30 day pass whatever you get those top plays you also get all the premium plays and all the sports the only thing not included in that is obviously nascar that is patrick's that has to be purchased separately again it's 20 bucks gets you all of that Make sure you take advantage of all the discounts going on, all the free days, all of the stuff you can get, because whatever your purchase today, even if it's 30 days, you'll make your money back today and then some, and the rest, you're playing with house money, guys. So anyway, it was a split day yesterday in Major League Baseball. Jerry cashed in huge with a Game of the Week winner in soccer like he always does. I have a potential Game of the Week going at the very first of the week. I'm trying to lock it in today, waiting on just a little bit of information. I'm hoping that information will be available to me within the next couple of hours. If it is, I'm gonna lock the play in, get the bet in. I'm gonna post it for all the all access clients and put it out for sale so you can purchase it and get your wager in early. So be on the lookout for that. Now, let's get you on a free play. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Yesterday, free play, it didn't go like planned. Well, I shouldn't say it didn't go like planned. The score didn't. I mean, there were damn near 20 hits. With errors and everything, 20 people on base. I mean, we did more than enough. We were on the right call. Day before that, absolutely blew the doors off of the, the free play winner with San Diego, Arizona going over. I told you exactly what would happen. And down to a damn T, that happened. There's nobody in the business that's going to give you that day in and day out and we do it so let's talk about this for a second the game today between cleveland and minnesota this game is is one of those games where you have two player you have two pitchers going in high era so you look at that you look at the high era and you say okay well that in and of itself makes you lean over but if you look if you say, okay, if you look at just the ERA, but then you look at the total at eight and a half, some places getting nine, I'm okay you playing over either one of those. Eight and a half, that's where I'd love you to be, but if you're at nine, okay. But those, those two pitchers right there, just the ERAs alone, the strikeout to walk ratios, how many home runs they've given up, you would wonder, well, why is this total not nine and a half, 10, 10 and a half, hell, maybe even 11? And it's because if you look at who Minnesota's putting in, they actually match up perfectly. And I mean perfectly to what Cleveland typically struggles with. That's why the total is what it is, but it's still too low. And, it, and again, what do you always have when you have two teams with struggling pitching, depleted bullpens, and offenses that are swinging at everything? Which Minnesota, 
is usually the exact opposite. They don't swing at everything. They don't swing at much. But go back and look at the last seven, seven games, ten games. Minnesota is swinging for the hills on absolutely everything. Cleveland, they're known to swing at a lot, a lot of garbage. But both of these pitchers, Hap especially, they hang them over the corners and they give up the long ball at the wrong times. This is a game where I don't necessarily see 17, 18, 20 hits. I see multiple home runs in this game. I see both sides being able to get the home runs in this game. And I see the home runs being multi-run homers with someone on base, with multiple people on base. That's where I see the value today. And while I think that the total makes sense because of Minnesota's pitching, the bullpen's just not there. And the, another reason why the total is the way it is is because they had a day of rest, technically, because yesterday we had a play in this game, but it ended up getting pushed off due to weather. So it got pushed back. Now they're playing today. And what do you have going in? You're like, oh, well, now they have a more rested bullpen or they have extra bullpen arms. The restart of both of these teams' bullpen, which is kind of where they're at today, having the first two arms, which are typically Monday, Tuesday arms, coming in, being able to pitch in relief today if needed, that's the worst of their bullpen, even though statistically you might not agree with that. If you just go out and look at the true facts, especially in the short term, last 30 days, that's the worst of their bullpen. And while I think that both starting pitchers are going to give up some offense, I think the bullpen, when relief comes in, I think that's where both teams just kind of unravel. And again, this may be a game where you only have three or four runs in total being scored throughout the first five or six. I think that it's going to be one or two innings that make the difference in this game, push it over the total, and we're kicked back for the last inning or so, just enjoying the win. So guys, we're gonna go over eight and a half runs. Like I said, if you are getting it at nine, that's okay. Take the over nine, shop around, try to get eight and a half. That's what William Hill has it at. But either way, we're going over the total of eight and a half or nine. Cleveland Indians, Minnesota Twins, that's your free play. Go to chasewins.com, get on a package, Take advantage of the discounts while you can. Stop sitting on the sidelines. Come win with a service that isn't just going to win for a day. It doesn't just go on little runs. They're going to make you money, and they're going to do it consistently. Guys, go to chasewins.com. Subscribe to the channel. Hit us up on social media. If you are on YouTube right now, become a member of the channel. I posted two members-only picks for the members on the channel today, so make sure you do that jump on one of the packages to take advantage of the discounts and the free days. Congratulations to all the Game of the Week winners. Be on the lookout for my potential Game of the Week coming up. I hope to post it later today if the game gets locked in. I love you guys more than anything, and we will see all of you in the winner circle.